So, welcome back. Part 10. Not sure how long it takes. Let's do this. Any parts to got this. So I believe we're in Oh yeah, in a little cave that we We're with that one mage, is that correct? On this. Sell it. I don't have lots left. Take everything. Or <coughs> me. Hope you guys enjoy the Super Bowl. Niners made too many mistakes. They had a chance to steal the game. That's what happens. Put down a, a good team and a great quarterback like that. Give them a chance. Be great. Nine out of ten times, they will be great. All roads a good game. <clears throat> Take one more step and the boy dies. Oh, this is the boy we need to get, huh? Uh, that was sold. Or something. Put the sword down. I just want to talk. You want the boy? Match the offer I have from Tavinta. Undamaged mage flesh. Full market price. Hey, me. Let him go unharmed, and you'll get your blood money. Done. There are easier slaves to take. How much money are we giving? Five gold. Who are you? Are you working for the Templars? Your mother sent me. Huh. Hardly a difference. I can't believe her. My whole life it was all, I'll love you and protect you. Then I have some bad dreams and it's off to the Templars. Sorry, I got a message about. Um, she's right. You belong in the circle of Magi. Well, I'm not going. I was trying to get to the Dalish. They won't be afraid of my magic. Better. Better look. You'd be a 
alone among the Dalish. Even more than a Dalish would be here. Compared to being held prisoner or made tranquil, I'll risk being lonely. Look, I know it's different in other kingdoms, but here, no one helps circle mages. Anything the Templars don't like, you get the brand. The Dalish, they've had magic forever. They could teach me. I won't be a danger, I swear. If there is another place he can harness his gifts, I cannot blame him for wishing to go there. They probably mm. could teach him. Whether they would is another matter entirely. All right, do what you think is best. You deserve a chance of freedom. Thank you. I did not. In my wildest dreams, I could not have foreseen this. Thank the creators. You were the one my mother hired to find me. I will forever be in your debt, friend. Better. When I need you. Whatever their differences, his mother deserves to know he's alive. <clears throat> yeah, of course, Avalyn. Of course, yeah. Do the right thing. First, this um. Keep exploring. Do we keep exploring? <clears throat> Is there anything back here? And seem to walk. Nothing back. Um. We continue going this way. I face some more enemies. Oh my goodness, how did I move? Why is back? Will they say back to high town? Not like on a ship. Well, you would know about having a large number of men under you. Oh. You've been waiting to use that one. Did you practice? Shut up. Do not <laughs> I love their conversation. Here we go again. No further, human. Calvishoff control these passages. I am more than capable of meeting any threat. So I see. I expected to warn a caravan, not a well-equipped tracker. The path ahead is littered with my kind. If you are as skilled as you look, it would please me if you killed them. Give me a second. Someone's calling me again.
I don't know what it is, but every time I'm trying to record here, you know, people tend to call me and patience and sorry about that. So, are you a traitor? Wait, 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 wait. The path ahead is a little. Oh. You have turned your back on your kin. Yes, for a second time. Hey, I like this guy. I did not like my role, so I left the queue. I do not wish to be a murdering thief, so I left these Talvish off to warn their victims. You are no victim, so now I will leave. Join me to fight them. If they have offended you so much, help me go after them. But I am worse. They don't want to raise their swords for coin, so they murder and steal. They cling to the honor they held under the queue. My sword means nothing. I will sell it and myself as mercenary. Ah, bro. I would say I am worse. If your blade is on the market, I'll pay. No. You sure you know what mercenary means? Taking payment to face Tal Vishoff only proves that I've sold the last of myself. Okay. I know what I am. I don't need to belabor it. Fine. You have my word of caution, human. Heed it or do not. Sometimes I think their brains are twisted up in those horns of theirs. I think so too. You guys are messed. Yes. Oh, arrow. Can you go down here like this. We cannot. I can go into High Town and sell it. Is there anything? And. Hey, the more coins the better. Rations. Take all your rations. No one's eating. Taking everything. 
feel like I should have been a um What's up here? Uh. Okay, then now you guys are all quiet. Let's just wait for them. Not coming. Y'all, what's down here? Oh. There we go. I think there's another path over here. We could get Can't. Oh, what is this? Twenty two this is a two handed. Give it to our two handed person. Then, uh, Chris. Our elf. They got it. Or not. Well, that was fun. 
Where's the leader? Not. I can't. Do. Up there. <clears throat> I think I missed something up there. Anything I can grab or leave? Here though, what's back here? That's what I'm trying to say. Taking everything. <laughs> Shield. Hold on, let's see. Go back. Black powder. Go we'll talk to Tom. Tom that he's over. You okay there, buddy? Got stuck. Your son has taken refuge with the Dalish. What? But he is human. They did not even wish me to raise him among them. But they do value magic more than the men of Karkor. Perhaps he can have both safety and freedom. As I said, I have little money. But this is a Dalish ring that has been in my family for generations. Please accept it with my thanks. Cool. Let's go ahead and can find a, a archer. Those men. Yeah. Hey there, lovely. Hello there.
Hmm, this is for, um... Okay. Cool. Go ahead. Now we have to go to... Allos? Do need to go through, right? Watch out by the Canary compound. I see. Let me pass. I have business with the dwarf Javaris and your Arishog. The short mouth, yes. Enter if you must, Basra. You go on ahead. I would rather not. You leave me shorthanded. An awkward time to run off, Isabella. Ah, oh, you know I'd never leave you. It's just that I really have to leave. Now. <sighs> Alright. Women. Do you remember what that awful canary did in Let's bring in Summon your era, shock. The bargain is done. About time you showed. I've been here for hours. Ari Shokost, Maras Shokra, Anan Isamkun. The hewn from an elf. The madness of this place. Oh, was odd. You know him? Friend of yours? <clears throat> Friend of no one. Yes, well, that said, I'm here to report that your hated Talbashoth were felled, one and all, right? Yes, they were. So, I'm ready to open negotiations for the explosive powder, as we agreed. He's not getting it. Make your chatty elf say something. What about it then? Very so. Any insight that would help? Kunari do not abandon a debt. I humbly request clarification from the Arishok. I have a growing lack of disgust for you. The dwarf imagined the deal for the Gatlock. He invented a task to prove his worth when he has none. Then we have wrongly inserted ourselves in your affairs. Would you have us kill this dwarf? Wait, what now? If you face Talvashoth, he is not worthy of dying to you, as he was not worthy of dying to them. But you, you keep good company. Let him live and leave. What's the problem? <clears throat> He's still. Ah. Be a dick. You may want to take this opportunity to go. But he has to sell. It's a product. People want it. There is no profit in empowering those not of the Kuhn. The means of creating the Gatlock is ours alone. It shall be dispensed only to our enemies in the traditional manner. You are a 
frustrating people. And you're fired. Sobbing bunch of oxmen and dog lords. A whole lot breathing smoke. Pah. You will leave as well, human. There's no more coin for you here. <clears throat> Damn, dude. Can we, like, talk? and need no goods your kind thinks selfishness and want are normal this city all of it leaves a bad taste if you despise this place why haven't you left since we arrived i have seen nothing but greed and weakness dwarves humans elves just festering no order no goal you are one of the few I have met with any ability. And yet this too was random, a result of selfishness. I cannot fathom how a mire like this can be justified. You say we should leave, but how can you bear to stay in this chaos? Hmm. My welcome to the city was not so different from yours. And yet you suffer it. It's an opportunity to make a real difference. Karisten are soldiers. The Kuhn made it so. They can never vary from that assigned path, never be other than they are meant to be. But they are free to choose within that role, to accept and succeed, or deny and die. Glory is clear and defined. Could you, could not this entire city benefit from that certainty? How else will you know when you have made a real difference? Hmm. He's free to choose to obey. That isn't contradictory to you. He chooses to be. As do we all, long before any of your meaningless freedoms are presented. I am not the one to educate you. I did not intend to land here. But this city may demand certainty. I suspect we are done, human. You impose hope. Your mission. You're a long way from home. Why did you come? To meet a demand of the Kuhn. Which was? It is a matter only the Kunari understand. We remain until we fulfill the demand of the Kuhn. Or until the demand changes. I don't think Kirkwall would do well under military rule. The rule of the Kuhn is not military. It is discipline and order. How is that different? To your limited understanding, it is not. You fear soldiers that arrive to remove your pitiable vices. But they do not control Kunari. The Triumvirate divides and governs. One is nothing without the others. <clears throat> Why not so? You guard your powder carefully. It is a tool that can only be allowed to exist under the ordered authority of the Kune. It could benefit many people. It does now. Just as swords benefit warriors, but are not given to children. Well, your children. How many Kunari have you lost to the Talvashov? None. That seems unlikely. We lose nothing when weakness abandons the Kuhn. It is the Talvashoth who have lost themselves. I met an honorable one. Doubtful. He said he was a mercenary, not a murderer. Then I know he made no claim to honor. When they sell themselves, little remains. He is not even dead to the Kuhn. He is a living insult. Farewell. Panahedan, <clears throat> human. Damn.
Alright, let's get the fuck out of here before they all turn on us. Yeah, they'll die. Okay, now, ooh. Okay. I've heard about the circle of magi outside of the Imperium, but I've never been in one. Are you certain it's wise for us to come here? Considering who we're with. Careful. Maybe not. But we'll be cautious. This seems more like a prison. I wonder if it's more effective than the circle I know. Treating every mage like a criminal isn't the answer. And not every mage deserves the benefit of the doubt. I think you need to be quiet now. Freedom is a noble ideal, but I see no oppression here. I see fear and danger. But enough. I'm sure we came here for a reason. Yes. Fucking crazy. Fast. We have found neither hive nor hair of the lad, Fainreal. I can only think he has fallen victim to demons or slavers. I found this. It was addressed to you. It seems to be from your daughter. My daughter? Then you know what she is. How she died. When I traced her to that warehouse, I should have forced her into the circle. My own weakness in the face of her pleas is what destroyed her. It is why I urged Ariani not to give in when Fainriel wished to hide. If only I had been so strong for Olivia. You have my sympathies. Do not fear the Templars finding out. Thank you. She is at peace now. I would not wish to see her name smeared while her ashes are still warm. Uh, what's over here? A request. A question. Or... Those statues were meant to intimidate slaves. You see, ah, welcome, my dear friend, to Sol's shop. My name is Solipitus. Please take a look around. My apologies in advance. Our shelves are a bit bare at the moment. Actually, if you're interested, I could use a bit of help to remedy that. Get on with it. Talk. All business. I like you. It's been too dangerous to leave the city of late, and the substances I require for my creations are, of course, elsewhere. Uh, perhaps you could find them. You'll be compensated for your time, have no fear. I'll also give you first pick of my new creations. Make up a list of what you need, and I'll keep an eye out for you. Perfect. A discount on everything in the shop, Sirrah. The first enchanter does not wish me to sell merchandise. He said I am too honest. The dragon's fang. It's larger than I expected. Ah, my young friend. How goes the circus? Is it? Age goods? A weapon rune that adds fire to damage. An armor. Let's do this. Why not? Okay, right, let's go ahead and go to Here we go. Night Commander Meredith would kill us all.
us go to the little town now. We'll go to the chantry. Later. Get ready though. All right. Miss, word is you're looking for help and paying well. I need someone native to the dark places beneath Lowtown. If you claim as much, yes, I will pay. I am, I am. Let's just step into this alley and me and my fellows can have a look at the money on offer. Uh -oh. She has chosen poorly. Worth looking. It does appear she could use some help, especially now. intervention i am out of my element a foolish risk in low town i had to come here to get the type of person i need someone of bloody skill but also integrity perhaps the kind who might leap to someone's defense i have a charge who needs passage from the city if you are willing and capable meet me at my safe house nearby you think that this sounds I just saved you in an alley, and suddenly we're in business. You're in Lowtown. What grand scheme could I be interrupting? Varnell! Why is a Templar guarding her? Is this a setup? I hope you will come. This matter only grows more urgent with time. I think it was a setup. Oh Lord. Oh, I'm like, I didn't see that quest. So I'm expected. I thank you for coming. This matter is delicate, and I need someone of limited notoriety who will not link this to me. It is an escort, but I think you will agree the nature of the party makes this unique. How unique? Get to the point. Time is wasting. Who is going where? My name is Sister Patrice. I have assumed a burden of charity. This is my charge. A Cerebas? Here? Would even a Templar bind a mage like this? A survivor of infighting with their Talvashoth outcasts? I call him Katojin, a bridge between worlds. The Viscount and others feel that peace begins with appeasement. This mage would likely be returned to his brutal kin. He can serve a better purpose. I want him free. He must be guided from the city without alerting his people, or being seen in my care. I've had dealings with a Kunari leader. He'd want to know of this. You have dealt with their leader. If you have interacted with Kunari, you know how they treat those who leave their heathen order. The Arashok would doom this poor creature. But knowing them is useful. If they challenged you, attacking an ally would only confirm their barbarism. You are still right for the task. I'll get him out. I can get him out of Kirkwall. He's a bit conspicuous for the streets, though. We must help this poor creature. He has faced worse than what I run from. 
This mage will be a fine example of how cruel Kunari are, even to their own. But only if this plays out just so. The passage here leads to the warrens of the Undercity. It is dangerous, but that is why you were hired. Good luck. Oh. I would not approve of coming here to avoid the guards. Let them do all the work. He's so helpful, like generous. We fill up with shadow. Then point precision is shadow that day. Or why not? The mage seems indifferent to our struggles, even with his freedom as the prize. to make that money, you know? On top of the money. Right in here. Ah, look at this. Undercity is feared by all. But there's no shortage of fools with coin who want to test it. What is this thing? Call it like a dumb lord's bitch. You're some sort of canary lover. Maybe I should get rid of you and see who'll pay the most for your pet. <laughs> I don't think it likes you threatening its master. Maybe we let this one pass. It's a smart. A voice of reason. What's he doing with you? You lot think you're so damn right. Buying everything, running free marches like me into our own sewers. Okay. You want us bound like this thing? I'll see you dead first. By the void! Kill it! Kill them all! You got him what the fuck just happened? Oh shit, behind us. The danger has passed, Katojan. Calm your Just remember I'm an ally. Keep control. And remember who is on your side. <laughs> of course, I expected no different. Damn yeah, boy, relax. Your side, don't act me. Can I help you?
Oh. You will hold Basra Bashidan. I am Arvarad, and I claim possession of Sarabas at your heel. The members of his Karatom were killed by Talvashan, but their disposal leads only here, to Sarabas and you. I just got here, coming from the other way. If there was a trail, I didn't leave it. Yet you are here with Sarabas. The crime is his freedom, his leash held by unknowing Basra. We will not allow that danger to continue. Let your own mages doom you. Sarabas will be properly confined. And if he doesn't want to go back? Sarabas, show that your will remains bound to the Kune. <laughs> he has only followed you because he wants to be led. He has allowed no other purpose. He is bound and abused, and you want him caged. Why? The power that he has, that all Cerebos have, draws from chaos and demons. They can never be in control. So you fear them? Like so many others. We leash Cerebos because they are dangerous and contagious. Not even your Templars fully grasp that threat. I'm not giving him to you. He'll choose his own path. He wants what the Kune demands. He is nothing else. You, Basra, your kind have no sense. The opportunity for reason will be forced upon you. You will all be brought to the Kune. I'll deal with this! Oh, if so long, too long. Can you stand? I am unbound. Odd. Wrong. But you deserve honor. You are now Basvarad, worthy of following. I thank your intent, even if it was wrong. I know the will of Arvarad. I must return as it demanded. It is the wisdom of the Kune. You're accepting death? How are you going to say? Garbage to so after all of this, now you want to die? I do not want to die. I want to live by the Kune. Which means dying. Yes. Is that hard to grasp? I can't let this decision stand. If you force choice, it is not choice. Your doubt does not make me wrong. Certainty is comfort. That is the way of the Canari. The way of the Kune. 
Take this secret thing, Vasvaran. Remember this day. creature was free. She may not have known about this, but clearly Patrice set a trail right to us. Why arrange this only to subvert it? I need answers. Damn. What about this task? Oh shit. Like this at all. I was trying to get him on my team. Leave nothing. It must be clean with no ties. It. Well, my helpful associate from the streets. Fuck you. You took the canary from the city without incident. You know what we faced. Mind your tongue, Ferelden. Please, do speak your mind. The bodies of the mages Karatam led right to us. Why? You come back speaking their language and think to lecture me. If such a plot existed, if the Kunari had murdered you for trying to help their slave mage, then yes, huh. someone might have found that useful. It would have cast doubt on appeasement. Perhaps your death would have been a tragic necessity. Perhaps finding the mage was a rushed opportunity. But all we have now are dead Kunari and the word of a sympathizer. Guys, into. Your Katojan killed himself rather than be free. I assumed he wanted to escape just as I would. My pity is genuine, but they are not like us. If, perhaps, why dance around this lie? I'm standing right here. If a member of the Chantry admitted instigation, I have no doubt it would result in more appeasement. But an accusation from a low town thug, you are hardly that important. That's not an insult. It's why I chose you. Rest assured, excuses, real or imagined, are not for your benefit. Reverend you made it, and I won't forget this, sister. Take your coin. Disappear back into Lowtown. Rest assured, I will not make the mistake of looking for help outside the faithful again. The stakes, eternity, are just too high. I should have said I should have killed you. So anyways. I want to cut the episode here. Cut it short. Well, not short. It's about an hour. But uh, I'll see you guys. Part 11. How are they going to do the herbal, the herbal task off camera? You guys. Oi.